Hi, Vinod Kumar here. In this video, we are going to learn some important problems in ages chapter. So please pay attention while explanation. So let us move on to the problems first. See the problem. The present age of A and B are in the ratio 11 is to 13. 14 years hence, the ratio of their ages will be 13 is to 15. Find the present age of A. See here present age of present ratio of A and B has given and 14 years hence the ratio of their ages will be 13 is to 15. Hence means after 14 years hence means after 14 years. So the future age of A and B 13 is to 15. You write down the present ratio of A and B and Write down the future ratio of that is 14 years hence ratio of A and B. That 11 is to 13, 13 is to 15. See you observe, here one thing we can observe. There is an increase in the ratios. You see both sides, 11 becomes 13 and 13 becomes 12. So two parts has increased. Why this increase has taken place? Why this increase has taken place? Due to that 14 years, due to that 14 years, this increase has happened. So that increase of two parts should be equal to 14, 14 years. Okay. So this two parts equal to 14 years. To find the present age of A, we have to find 11 parts. So two parts are 14 years then 11 parts are how much see the calculation part 2 parts are 14 years then 11 parts are what is the difference between what is the relation between 2 and 14 into 7 what is the you apply the same relation to 11 11 into 7 77 years so the present age of a is 77 years let me explain again the present age of A and B are in the ratio 11 is to 13. 14 years since the ratio of their ages will be 13 is to 15. Find the present age of B. See, the present ratio of A and B is 11 is to 13. 14 years since 13 is to 15. Here, difference on both sides equal. But this difference, why it has happened? Difference are increase. This increase or difference, why it has happened? Due to that 14 years. So these two parts, that is difference equal to 14 years. So two parts are 14 years, then we have to find 11 parts for the present age of A. So in calculation part, we have done that. Two parts are 14 years, 11 parts are how much? You see the relation between 2 and 14, 7. You apply the same relation to 11. 11 sevens are 77. For better understanding, we will see another problem in the same model. The present age of A and B are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 9 years hence the ratio of their ages B 3 is to 4. Find the present age of A. So write down the present ratio and 9 years hence ratio. A is to B 5 is to 7. Here 3 is to 4. Observe the differences on both sides 2 and 3. So here differences on both sides not equal. So we have to make them equal. How? Just multiply the first ratio with the difference in second ratio. What is the difference in second ratio? 4 minus 3, 1. So 1 into first ratio. That is 5 is to 7. So what will come? 5 is to 7 will come. Multiply the second ratio with the difference in first ratio. What is the difference in first ratio? 7 minus 5, 2. So 2 into 3 is to 4. 2 3s are 6 is to 2 4s are 8. So now our ratios will become 5 is to 7 and 6 is to 8. Once this modification has done, we have to is, use these ratios only for finding of the ages, not the previous ratios. Okay. Now the difference on both sides equal. That is one part. So this one part equal to that 9 years. To find the present age of A, we have to find 5 parts. 1 part is 9, 5 parts are 45. Simple. 
So we will move on to the next problem. The present days of P and Q are in the ratio 9 is to 13. Six years ago, the ratio of their ages was 2 is to 3. Find the present age of Q. In the previous problems, hence has given. In this problem, ago. Ago means before. Six years ago means six years back. So you write down the ratios. The present age of P uh, ratio of P and Q. P is to Q equal 9 is to 13. Six years ago ratio is 2 is to 3. You observe the difference between difference on both sides. Difference is not equal. So we have to make them equal. So multiply the first first ratio with the difference in second ratio. That is 1 into 9 is to 13. So multiply the second ratio with the difference in first ratio. What is the difference in first ratio? 13 minus 9 that equal to 4. 4 into second ratio. That is 2 is to 3. 8 is to 12. Now our ratios will become 9 is to 13, 18 is to 12. So once we have converted these ratios, once we have modified these ratios, you should use these ratios only, not the previous ratios. If you use the previous ratios, the problem, the answer will definitely run. So now the difference on both sides is same. That is one part. So one part is equal to 6 years, 13 parts are 78 years. Okay. Now we take another problem. The present age of A and B are in the ratio 7 is to 12. 15 years ago, the ratio of their ages was 4 is to 9. Find the present age of B. Here you see, you write down first, you have to write the ratios 7 is to 12 and 4 is to 9. You observe the difference on both sides. Difference is equal. So we can directly equal this difference to 15 years. So three parts are 15 years. To find the present age of B, we have to find 12 parts. See the calculation part. 3 parts are 15 years, then 12 parts are. What is the relation between 3 and 15? 5. You apply the same relation to 12. 12 fives are 60 years. So the present age of B is 60 years. In this type of problems, what is the important issue is, once you modify the ratios, to make both sides difference equal, you have to use the new ratios or modified ratios. Don't use the previous ratios. Otherwise, if you use the previous ratios, your answers will definitely run. Okay? If you feel this video is helpful to you, you can subscribe, like, share my channel, Reasoning Aptitude Tips. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.